This is a flyback generator, commonly used on a CRT TV. It is completely discharged. Um, it converts a nominal voltage into round about 20,000 volts. This is a Marx generator. It takes 20,000 volts and converts it into hundreds of thousands of volts. Can you see where this is going? <laughs> I'm gonna build it. After many failed attempts and hours and hours messing around, I finally got it to a state where it works. Now these, these were crap. Um, all I was getting was plasma discharge, corona sort of discharge, I was getting everything off them. I even tried bending them so as they were pointing each other like that and it still wasn't working. I don't know if it's because it's dirty wire or what, but anyway, I made my own. So there's my anchor point there, and then that one's there, and then I've got another one going opposing in the opposite direction like that, and it works perfectly. So the one thing you've got to bear in mind with these things, if you touch those probes, you're dead when it's running, when it's charged, you're absolutely dead. What you have to do is discharge it before you even attempt touching it. You're perfectly safe with an insulated screwdriver. It does arc, um, but you need to make sure that it is completely discharged before you go anywhere near the thing. To make this easy so as people can understand, the transformer, this is literally a transformer, it converts whatever voltage input you've got to 20,000 volts output which goes through this wire and this is the ground. What it does through the capacitors is it charges this rail as negative at the minute and it charges that rail as positive and then with the spark gap which I'll show you the first spark gap here when it generates enough voltage for it to jump that spark gap it then puts these into series and then it jumps over to there and it puts those into series and so on and so on and so on until you have a multiple of all those in series and that's the voltage output you get and that's when it starts bridging that. So you get primary spark coming off these and then you get your secondary main spark which is around about I don't know 80, 100,000 volts coming off that which generates the lightning. <laughs> 
So, I'm going to show it in action. <laughs> 